taking a look at Fares Dezuki in this position where he gets himself in a bit of, bit of bother, but he's able to reset that rally so well. And it's what he does in this front backhand, this little topspin nudge push drop shot. Such an effective little shot and a shot that I love coaching and love players to try to develop in their game. Okay, so let's have a look at what he's doing. So he hits that cross court and gets himself in, in a bit of bother, as I said. You know, relatively loose down the middle. Marwan plays a decent low volley drop, pushes it into a difficult part of the court. So Ferris sees this and realizes it. And what he does is he just pushes his hand and his racket out in front of him. There's no upward part of the swing. The racket's not coming from high to low. Everything's staying low. Everything has to be reached out and directed towards the ball. He doesn't have a huge amount of time to be able to get his racket towards the ball. And look at that lead lunge. Look at how he's throwing that right leg out and he's really attaching it to his swing. It's actually the momentum of this lunge and this movement that really contributes well to the shot. And as he gets it and as he makes contact with that ball there, look at that follow through or lack of follow through. It's just like a little nudge. The racket actually moves towards the side wall. It's like a little kind of push nudge towards the side wall, keeping the strings relatively closed. And he just rolls over there ever so slightly, just nudges and pushes it in. And this gives the ball a lot of side spin. So you'll notice that where he hits the front wall, that's that's quite high. That's not that low of a shot. But look what happens to the ball there. It bounces and then rolls towards the side. So by the time Marwan comes to play it, he has to play a defensive shot. Dazuki's reset the rally from this position, which, you know, I see so many people go in there and they try to hit themselves out of trouble. Even a lob here might be slightly difficult. Look, he might have been able to lob because his racket's really low and he might have flicked his wrist. But there's a realization that there's almost no swing you can have except for this little roll nudge topspin type drop. And again, if you can get it well and get that little deflection and side spin on that ball, that ball hits that ground, rolls into the side and starts to glue, make it really tough for, for your opponent to get back. And then final thing I just want to point out is when he lunges, like I said, he's using all the momentum of his, of his body weight to play the shot. Look at that back foot. Look at how he lets himself flex his body, moving in, letting that go, and that ball's really tight, rallies reset, and he can start again.